In today's video, I wanted to share with you a really quick and easy way to create your webinar or presentation slides. I had to do this recently and it was so nice and easy that I knew I had to share it with you guys. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louise of solopreneursidekick.com. I put out new videos every single week all about making the tech in your online business easier. So if that is something that you would love some help with, definitely hit subscribe down below and hit that little bell icon as well so you get notified every time I post a new video. So the tool that we're going to use for this is Canva. Canva is my favorite graphic design tool for non-designers, and this is going to ensure that your slides look incredibly professional. All right, so let me show you how to set this all up now. So once you sign up for a free Canva account, this is what you're going to see. You're just going to go over to the search bar and type in presentation. After you do that, you'll see two options. I like to go with the one that just says presentation. So not presentation for three. All right, so you're going to click on that and then you're going to see all the different templates that you can choose from. So this is what makes this tool so valuable. They have all of these gorgeous professional looking templates that you can simply select and then customize with your information. So basically a great way to guarantee that you look professional. So in order to look at the presentation in full, just hover over it and you'll see these three little dots appear. Click on that and then you can scan through the different slides that are included in this presentation. Okay, so for example, I really like that one. I also really like this one here. Awesome. Okay, so let's say that I want to use this template. All I'm going to do is click use this template. So this is going to open up the design tab and this is where the fun begins. So to edit an element, all you need to do is click on it and you're going to see some editing options appear. So for example, we can change the color here. And the way that I know that is because this little square up here has appeared. So you're going to click on that. And because I'm on the Canva Pro plan, it has saved a bunch of my color palettes for me. Um, but don't worry if you don't see this, you can just click on the plus sign here and this is going to bring up a color wheel. Okay, so you can either select your color manually like this, or if you know your hex code, you can paste it in here. So for example, let me paste in my hex code for my pink color. Awesome. So as you can see, that has automatically changed the color here. And if you would like to save your color palettes like this, then simply upgrade to Canva Pro, which is about $12.95 per month. Okay, great. So we've edited that. Let's say I want to also edit this line up here. Again, I'm going to click on that. The square is going to appear here. I'm going to click on it. And now my color will be saved up here. So I can just click on that and it's changed the color. So what about text? Let's say you want to customize your text. You can absolutely do that. You're just going to click on this text box here and I'm gonna highlight it and then hit the delete key on my keyboard to delete the placeholder text. And then I'm going to type in my title here. So it's as easy as that to change out the content. And again, with your fonts, you can absolutely change the color, just highlight it go over here and change the color as well. In general though, in order to ensure that your presentation looks professional, I would stick to the template as much as possible. So if you can, I would avoid changing the actual font types and instead just changing the colors like we just did. Okay, great. So all you need to know basically is click on an element and then edit it up here. So same with the background color. If I wanted to change that, I can absolutely do that. Now, what about photos? Let's say I want to replace this. I can absolutely do that and very easily. I'm just gonna come over here to where it says photos and then I can search millions of photos that they have here. So let's say that I wanted to do something like design. I'm gonna type that in and you'll see all these different photos appear that I could use. So let's say that I want to use this one here. 
all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and I'm also going to hold it down. So I'm holding it down then I'm going to drag it over on top of this photo here. And once I release that, you'll see that it has automatically filled this space here, which is fantastic. So with photos, you might want to change which part is in focus. So in which case you can just click on crop and then you'll see the full image here and you can decide which part of the image is visible. So if I wanted to show the hand, I would just drag it over here to the right and hit done. Awesome. And then you will see the other slides below it. So you would just come down here, click on the elements to customize it. And if you ever want to delete a slide, you can absolutely do that. You'll see a little trash can here and just click on that to remove it. Okay, awesome. So now you know how to customize your slides. And remember, in order to make it look as professional as possible, you want to keep the changes to a minimum. You actually want to keep the layout as is, keep the fonts as is if you can, and just change out the colors, the actual content itself, and the images. All right, guys, so that is how you quickly and easily create your webinar slides. Now, you might be wondering, okay, how do I actually present these slides? The software that I recommend for this is called Crowdcast. I am obsessed with it and I use it every single week in my business. I'll leave a link for you in the description below so you can go and try a 14 day trial of this software, but it is so nice and easy to do webinars with. There's never any delays or tech problems and you'll be able to talk with your audience in real time and sell a bunch of your product as well. So I definitely recommend that you go and check out that software. Again, the link is in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe as well. And I'll see you real soon with another video.